If you want to rank organically in search engines, of course you need to be creating new content for your website. But here's the thing, if you already have a website, you already have content, you have blog posts, you actually need to spend time updating those posts before you take the time to go out and create new content. Now, this isn't something that you hear about too much. It's more just crank out new content. But here's four reasons why you need to spend time updating your existing content. First, it's faster. It is the difference between minutes that it takes to update existing content versus the hours that it takes to create these really good blog posts that are actually going to rank and bring in traffic for you. Second, you're going to experience more traffic in a faster amount of time. If you're ranking on the top of the second page or even low on the first page, getting bumped up even a few spots is going to make a massive difference in the amount of traffic that starts coming into your website and simply updating some older posts can absolutely help you move up. Third, if you're only working on creating new content, you may be unintentionally ignoring the traffic that is falling off. So think of this like a leaky bucket. You're putting in new content and new traffic is coming in, but you have a hole in that bucket and you have traffic that is leaking out the bottom of that bucket. So while you have more coming in, you are losing some out the other end and that is definitely a problem. And overall, you're just going to see better results for the amount of time that you actually spend in content. So when a post has decreasing content over the past 12 months, what you're seeing is called organic content decay. Now there's different reasons why a piece of content can start to lose its rankings and start to lose some traffic, but as an example, maybe your competitor has created a better piece of content and that has started to outrank your piece of content so they are now getting more of the clicks. So to avoid this, three to four times a year, you need to schedule time on your calendar to sit down and look for organic content decay. So that way you can go back and you can update any of those old posts that once were bringing in a good amount of traffic, but have started to fall off. So how do you do this? Great question. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to easily find these decaying posts using a completely free tool. And you will literally have this information in 60 seconds. Let me show you. To find these posts, we are going to be using our free Google Search Console account. What I recommend you do is go ahead and pause this video, pull up your Google Search Console account so you can follow right along with me. I'm literally gonna make sure that you have this list of posts for you to work on in the next 60 seconds. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the performance section and we're gonna click on search results. At the top, there's a date filter, which we want to click. And there are two tabs at the top. We want to select the compare column. Here we want to compare the last six months to the previous period. And the only time really you're gonna do something different than that is if you have seasonal content. So if you have content that let's say follows spring, summer, the different seasons, then what you'll wanna do is come down to the custom section and you can compare the date range from this season to the season from last year. So we'll keep these six months for this example and click apply. Now, as we scroll down here, we will see pages and we wanna click on that. This is going to give us a list of all of our pages that we're getting impressions and clicks on. And we see that there are some different columns here across the top. We are looking for clicks difference. So you can see that this particular post gained nearly 17,000 clicks in this six months compared to the previous six months, which is really great and so forth here. But what we want to look for is the ones that are losing. So we'll click on this down arrow. This is going to show us a post that had the biggest content decay. So this one has lost nearly 3,800 clicks since the last period. This one, 750, this one, nearly 690 and so forth. So this is it. This is a list of posts that you need to work on. So you want to go in and take a look. You'll be able to click through and see what keywords this page has had impressions for. You can see what content, maybe other content that is outranking your post has that yours does it, and you can work to add that to the bottom of your post. You can take a look at your meta title and description to make sure that that shows that your post is going to be informative, it's going to answer questions, it piques their curiosity, it lets them know that it is updated, maybe you have the current year in the post versus a previous year. You can better format your post, add images, videos. So there's a lot 
lot that you can do to update your posts, but this is going to show you exactly the ones that are losing you the most traffic. So you can plug that hole in your bucket and you can make sure that you are gaining traffic from these posts that used to be doing a lot for you and then you can move on to adding new content. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to pull this list up for your own site so you can schedule some time to work on these posts because again, you'll be able to do these updates a lot faster than you can creating new, really rankable content. I'll see you next time.